Hey everybody, welcome to The Wolf Eyes, the official video blog of West Georgia Athletics. I'm Adam Elrod, here at the women's locker room at the soccer fields. I can't go inside, and normally I would have my lovely co-host Taylor Shear with me. I'm not sure where she's at. She may be inside the women's locker room, I don't know, but I thought since she's not here with me, I'd have a quick moment of silence for you, so, you know. Alright, I think that was quick enough. And if you've seen the show before, you know I'm fanatical about West Georgia athletics. But there's one sport I just go crazy for, and that is football. And not only do I go crazy for it, so do the players who went crazy this weekend on the field where they had their first one of the season, 24-20 to against Concordia. And it was a sack party left and right up and down the field. They had ten and a half sacks, and Jeremy Cook went crazy and got the school record with six sacks of his own. And man, what a game it was. This weekend, though, football team wasn't the only one doing some winning. The volleyball team had a tournament down in St. Louis, Florida, where they went 2-2 two and two this weekend. And man, you had Mary Kay Kruger and the freshman phenom, Emily Rule, who had 39 kills each. Not individually, which would be, still be great, but each. And man, the soccer game... They didn't turn out as well as they had hoped in their tournament in Columbus, but the girls looked great. They went 0-2 this weekend, and Mary Laza, our keeper, had her first start against Columbus, and man, did she look good. She blocked a penalty kick, and it looks like it's going to be a great season with her, and I can't wait to see what else she does. But you know what? We actually have an interview with the soccer coach, Coach Kovacs. So let's take it over there. Well, I'm here with Marissa Kovacs, the head soccer coach for West Georgia. How you doing? I am good, Adam. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Thanks for being on the show. And, you know, we're really excited for the soccer season, so we're glad to get an interview with you. So have you seen our show before? I have. I saw the last vlog, and I thought it was great, so I'm glad to be on here. So then you know about us giving you the three grueling questions. Right, right. I'm hopefully prepared, but we shall see. I'm, I'm scared to know what you're going to throw at me, but I think I can handle it. All right. Well, first off, what do you think your biggest strength this year for the soccer team is going to be? Well, I'm hoping, you know, last year we, we had solid defense. Um, you know, we worked really hard offensively. We just didn't have a lot of production up top. Our leading scorer had three goals, and then we had a plethora of girls with, you know, one or two goals, but this year I'm hoping to definitely, uh, you know, double our goal score, and that was one of our team goals as well, so we're hoping to put some balls in the back of the net and make it exciting for fans to come out and watch us. Okay, that sounds good, and uh, we know y'all just had a tough schedule this past weekend, but y'all's home opener is against Newberry, the brand new Wolves, <laughs> so how are you feeling for that home opener? I'm really excited. Uh, we had two exhibition games at home and we have a lot of fan support so I'm hoping you know everyone will be out from uh, other athletes and coaches to the community. It's always exciting to play Newberry and especially at home. The coach of Newberry was actually my coach at Coastal Carolina when I played in college so that's always exciting and I think the girls will be definitely up for the game you know being the home opener. So. Alright, well, that sounds like it'll be a good matchup. All right, and then for our final question, our ridiculous Facebook question of the week, if you were a vegetable, what would you be? A vegetable? Well, um, I'd probably say maybe a red pepper. Uh, you know, I'm a little sweet, a little spicy. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's what I'd be. All right, well, thanks, Coach Kovacs. And now, we'll get back to you. Man, that was a great interview. Man, the field reporter who was interviewing Coach Kovacs he, he was a handsome guy. I'm getting word from my boss, Matt, that, Adam, that was just you in glasses and a different t-shirt. But I was just throwing out there. Y'all picking what I'm throwing down? I'm just saying. But back to soccer. On September 11th, the girls have their home opener right over there. They'll be getting ready here, but I can't go in, so I'm going to go watch them right over there on September 11th. So... Y'all meet me out here at 7 o'clock. It's against Newberry. Newberry was also down in Columbus this weekend. The girls did not play them, but they got to see Newberry. And they know what their strengths and weaknesses are. So I think they're going to be ready for this game. You know, speaking of home openers, I don't know what time it is, but it's Tuesday. So that means volleyball's home openers tonight. 
I want to go over and see the freshman phenom Emily Rule get hopefully 39 more kills. I don't know about y'all, but I think I'm going to head over to the Coliseum. So y'all meet us back here every Tuesday right here on uwgsports.com. You can tweet us, Facebook us, find us on YouTube, whatever you got to do, just come back and see us. I'm Matt Melrod, and hopefully Taylor will be back next week. I don't know where she's at, but I'll see y'all later. Man, the soccer team looked great, Adam, didn't they? Yeah, they did, but what about volleyball? Man, this banner stuff back and forth doesn't work without Taylor here. Y'all come back every Tuesday and see us on uwgsports.com.